All right, here is a video that I never wanted to make during our one year around the world trip. Bottom line, my four terabyte hard drive is no longer working. No. You're probably thinking, well, of course you had a backup, right? All right, let us explain. So while we're here in Hawaii, we're going, our next location is gonna be South America. But on our way to South America, we're gonna stop in New Jersey that's the way our route goes. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but that's how the flight goes. So while we're in New Jersey, we get to see Lisa's parents. Woo! It's exciting. So since we're gonna see them, I figured, hey, while we're here in Hawaii, we'll stop by a Best Buy and get another external hard drive to be able to back up Lisa's drive so we have two copies of everything. And we'll leave them with my parents, so that way if it were to get lost or stolen or whatever, we would have an extra backup. So that's what we did. Went to, to Best Buy, and got another hard drive and started making the backup copy from one to the other. In the process of that, Lisa's drive stopped working and started making a clicking sound. And the clicking sound indicates that there's a mechanical failure that could cause further damage. So then my hard drive wasn't turning on at all. It's not showing up on here either. Normally it should pop up here, and you should see the drive icon here, but nothing's coming up. We no longer have access to any photo that was taken with my camera, and we used my camera mostly for all of the selfies of Peter and I on our trip around the world, so I have none of those right now. Um, by the way, we are 333 days into our one year world trip. so. This is just terrible. And I had started to back up some videos on Peter's hard drive, um, just because my four terabyte was already full. And so I, I put some on his hard drive. So about 40% or so of the backup may be copied from Lisa's drive to the new hard drive before it failed and yep. stopped working and then had a mechanical issue. So we do have some of the data from Lisa's drive. But right now we're missing 100 days exactly of footage where I don't have anything. Now, I have uploaded some of those already to YouTube, and so there are 76 days where I have no video for. In those 76 days are 13 different countries, including the rest of Europe, Israel, North Africa, and um, United Arab Emirates, India, and Thailand. The reason I wanted to do a video for every day of our adventure was to showcase every day and to tell a giant story. And the whole point of a story is you gotta have like the middle, right? To like know what happens and like that's a chunk that's missing right now. And like I yeah, I'm to say that we're like sick to our stomach is a little bit of an understatement. Like we literally both almost threw up yesterday. Right now is a sick to my stomach, like literally wanna throw up. Um I just hope we can get it back. And if we can't, at least we have the memories. And I just, I feel bad because I feel like I promised everybody that we would have these videos for them, for one. So I feel bad, I feel like I'm breaking my promise. And two, I really wanted these videos for ourselves and for our memories. Yeah, on the verge of, you know, like feeling sick to your stomach and just wanting to cry, but you know, knowing that doesn't do any good. Right. Um, you know, I did all the troubleshooting I could do and then reached out to, took it to Best Buy to ask them. to see what Geek Squad can do. They said, hey, it needs to be shipped to the mainland. Called another data recovery specialist. They said the same thing. So then we decided to go with our manufacturer, the hard drive manufacturer, and just ship it back to them. So, bottom line is, we dropped it in the mail this morning. It's going back to the manufacturer for data recovery. Uh, they will give us a new hard drive to replace the current one because it's covered under their two-year manufacturer warranty, but the data recovery itself is gonna cost an extra 550 to do. So it costs $50 first for them to look at it, and then if they can recover it, then they charge us another 550 to go ahead and back it up, put it in a cloud storage where we can download it from. And honestly, like, it's just an inconvenience. Like, if they can recover it for that price, like, yeah, granted, that's like a huge, like, expense for our trip, but that is 
totally 100% worth it. It should take two weeks, two weeks for them to see if they can recover it and then they'll upload it to the cloud and then when we're in South America I can download the next couple of videos um, and still be on task hopefully. So, like, so much happened that time. We are uh. hoping and praying that the data recovery specialist will be able to recover all the data yes. and that will be fine. So, please join us in prayer for that. We really that appreciate prayer like, for that. Yeah, it, it ships there fine. It's um, it's being shipped right now. Um, that they get it great. That they can recover it great. So, lessons learned. The takeaway here for all of us. Learn from us. Please learn Always from us. Always have at least two copies of all your important data. We yeah. should have done that. I did that with my photos, um, but they don't take up that much space, so it wasn't that hard. But we should have figured out some way to keep a copy, two copies of everything for Lisa's video footage too, because I mean, this stuff is priceless. Number two, when you buy an external hard drive, you can get a data protection plan. It was offered apparently on Amazon for like 10 to $15 and we could have gone also directly through Lacey and bought it for $15 for two years or $20 for three years for the hard drive. I did not do that. That was my bad and this is going to be a costly mistake and lesson learned from that. I've never had a hard drive failure before. Like I've never, we've never had this. We've had and you have several tons hard drives of for electronics. Your website I have several web. I have several hard drives. I've never had a failure like this before. Yeah. And so and it's one of those things where I'm like, oh sure, well I will just keep backups of everything. So like right now we were creating a backup to be responsible and have that. And so then that's when it happened. You wouldn't have to ever worry about data recovery because I'm like, oh, it's a hassle. But no, in this case, I really wish I would have spent that extra $15. And so what we did this morning after shipping off Lisa's hard drive to the data recovery specialist, I went on and purchased a plan for my drive so that that's covered. It's worth and it. 550 sounds like a whole lot to recover it, but here's the thing is that Peter also checked with Best Buy and checked with another um, data specialist that's here in Hawaii, um, and they were upwards of 1500 to 2100 So our going with Lacey was the best option. So Lacey has a flat rate. And I called and spoke with the data protection specialist there at Lacey. He was very professional, very reassuring. I mean, he did say there is a chance we won't be able to recover everything, but he was also hopeful. So at Lacey, they've been very professional, very good, very knowledgeable. So that's a plus. Uh, we'll let you know how it goes. You might be thinking, okay, so what does this mean for the Happy Hoppy vlogs? Well, for one, I just feel super responsible to all of our subscribers and by the way on a super happy side note here um, we just reached 1,000 subscribers thank you guys so much for that sorry that this is the next video that comes out after that in the meantime I do want to have at least like uh, one or two other videos up while we're waiting so if there are like travel topics you want me to discuss travel questions leave your leave your comments below on like what you want to see from us in the next two weeks so I can still be making videos because now I feel like I have nothing to do but she does <laughs> I do so I can edit ahead of time and have up to 219 done but now, oh, I can't I mean I have all my music on the other thing I have other pictures that I use sometimes of Peter and I it's just like ah and I have my intro all this stuff I mean I can easily redo those but it's just really annoying. Anyways, all that to say, please learn from our mistakes. Please, please learn from our mistakes. Thanks for coming up for, with our adventures. Mahalo. Have a great day.